Amparo Jimenez Soler bought her dream home at the very peak of the bubble. Like so many homeowners in Port St. Lucie, she eventually needed help paying her mortgage. To give you an idea, my credit score before everything started, it was 802. She turned to her bank for a modification and was approved, but the deal was never finalized. Imparo hired an attorney for help, and that's when her frustrations began. I haven't had a life for two years. She trusted her attorney. I leaned back. Right. I'm paying a lot of money, so they're not handling it. Right. Uh, wrong. Imparo says she was stood up in court, and the judge's order said her attorney provided no evidence to support her case. Imparo had no way of knowing what her attorney was or wasn't doing because she says he wasn't returning her calls. That's when she sent a letter firing him. After more than one year with your firm and $4,200 spent, I am a very dissatisfied customer who does not understand how can you sleep at night. Imparo's is a textbook example of what homeowners trying to save their homes from foreclosure have to face. There are lessons we can all learn from her story. Anyone providing foreclosure rescue services is required to have an active license. Always check this and other references. New laws prohibit upfront fees and require a written contract, including how they're going to help you, what it will cost, and suggesting that you speak with your lender first to see if there's any of this legwork you can do yourself cheaper. Amparo wishes she had done her homework and had done a better job staying in contact with her attorney. How can it be so many people that they just care about getting money, not honoring agreements, uh, not caring about you? Amparo's case is still in limbo, like so many homeowners who wind up battling the people they hoped would help. In Port St. Lucie, Sherry Olofsson, WPTV News Channel 5.